Hey guys, this is Francisco Hernandez of FJ Photography here, and today I'm going to show you how I get my images to look their absolute best for Facebook. And I'm going to show you guys how to do so in Lightroom by itself and then in Photoshop by itself, just in case you guys only have one of the two programs. So the first thing I do in Lightroom is I make sure that I'm in the Develop module, and under where it says the Detail, in the Detail tab, you're going to make sure that you bring the sharpness up to 60 at least that's what I use and I know it seems like common sense to bring it up to 60 I mean not to 60 but to, to sharpen it in general but um, it's actually a two-step process so after you do the initial sharpening and other edits you might want to do um, you're gonna export the file and I already have a preset made but you're gonna export the file um, with these settings under where it says image sizing you're gonna make sure that it says where it says resize to fit the little box is checked and then under this area here you're going to make sure that long edge is selected and you're going to make sure that the pixels are going to be 2048 pixels long and I don't think the pixels per inch matters if you're just strictly sharing on the web and then after you export you can just upload after that uh, I'm not going to export because I already did so but that's going to be for, for Lightroom and if you don't have Lightroom let's say if you only have Photoshop you're going to open up the file and I have this file right here. This is the um, the Lightroom export, and you can see right there it says um, 2,048 pixels on the longest edge. So this is the the file without any sharpening, and um, at the the re the resolution that I was already at to begin with. So I'm gonna click that, and I'm gonna zoom in. I always like to zoom in at 100% just to make sure I can see everything. And um, you're gonna copy the file, copy the uh, the layer. And you can do so by hitting Control or Command J, and then you're gonna go to where it says Filter. Make sure that you go to where it says Other, and then you go to High Pass. And generally, you want to stay between zero to three. Um, it does matter though how big your file is. So um, if you go, you know, I'm gonna go all the way or a good good amount. You don't want something like this. It's gonna look too sharp and not in a good way. So um, for my specific folder uh, file, I'm gonna hit it at 1.5, and I'm gonna click OK. And after that, you're gonna change the blending mode from normal to overlay. And then I'm gonna just toggle it off and on, so you can see the little bit of sharpening that it does. And then immediately after that, you can go to resizing it now, and you're gonna hit uh, go to the menu where it says image go to image size you can do this shortcut or just replace the control with command if you're on a, uh, a Mac click that and then again this this folder um, this file right here is a portrait it's in portrait mode so that means you know the longest side is on the um, the tall side so you're gonna go to image and you're gonna go to image size again and um, make sure that the height is 2048 pixels long and it should already com um, automatically correct this. If you guys want to take a look at these settings, you know, by all means, I think this is our default settings, so I'd never mess with them and I get, you know, sharp images online. So, um, yeah, and you click OK and it should resize the image for you. And aside from that, you can, you're done. You can already upload to Facebook. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick video. Uh, I plan to make more. Um, but if you like this video, um, you know, like it, comment if, uh, if it helped or not, subscribe and share if you want to. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and take care.